heat. Okay, so I've noticed with coffee, excuse that huge zit on my chin, <sighs> hashtag real life problems, um, the miniature pincher, he drifts out quite a lot in heel position. So I'm just going to practice on some turns with him to help keep his position really tight. So I'm just going to document that a little bit. Coffee! If your dog is drifting out in heel, you can improve that by moving your reward point to slightly in front of you. Yes. Yes. No. You can also feed them constantly whilst he's healing them right right next to you at any point in the day feed them right next to you make being next to you really rewarding Henry out the way um, try working on those turns because that will keep them nice and tight as well And then once the dog starts naturally gravitating closer to your leg, then you can change the reward point from in front of you back to heel position. Back to in line with your trouser leg. Constantly tweaking. Where we give our reinforcer our food can massively impact on our dog's healing and the position that it is choosing to adopt. Okay, So we, we may need to change the distribution point of the reinforcer uh, consistently throughout our healing until it's pretty much there. If a dog starts crabbing, so they're walking ahead and they're going in front of you, then we need to bring the reinforcer out to the side so that they're turning their head to get at it. Okay? Therefore, they will start predicting, okay, the reinforcer isn't coming from way over here in front of us when they crab round and swing their back end out. It's coming from over there, so they'll naturally start to straighten themselves a bit, and then we can go back to pop, pop, pop. Um, right in our heel position okay um, if that's also happening we can do a bit of platform work to help with rear end awareness there um, but yeah reinforcement placement placement of reinforcers for healing is ever-changing depending on the dog's needs so, yeah.